example of a genetic mutation or, 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 or an evolutionary process which ha can be seen to increase the information in the genome? Can you just stop one at So Imran Hussein of Epistemics has uploaded a video that appears to show Richard Dawkins struggling to answer a question. Here is the background behind this. I have linked an article by Barry Williams from the Skeptic magazine which explains the background here. Richard Dawkins explains that he had no idea that the film crew were a creationist front and that he was surprised at the amateurishness of their filming technique and he became even more suspicious of their motives. He was challenged to produce an example of an evolutionary process which increases the information content of the genome he says it's a question that only a creationist would ask and a real biologist would find it an easy question to answer as he has detailed here. The 11 second pause is Dawkins deciding what to do next, not struggling to answer the question as creationists try to make appear to be the case. Where do you get information from? Where do you get information from? From a mind. The second part of Imran's video is the old trope that information comes from a mind. I won't comment on that specifically but I will advise everybody to go and watch the Professor Dave Explains video on exposing the Discovery Institute part 2 Stephen Mayer where he dis debunks this nonsense of information coming from a mind. I will link that in the description. Say if I came in earlier before you guys walked into this room and imagine for a second that I didn't just put that up on the board now right and I said to you you know what I was annoyed I was stuck in traffic, I was angry, I came in, I took this marker, I threw it at the board, the lid popped off, the pen nib hit the board and it scribbled the, the, this, this, what you call a word right now on the board and it fell to the ground. Would you believe me? Would you be, who would believe me? You wouldn't believe this can happen by chance or as a result of a random accident, right? It can't. And that's three letters. G-O-D. That's three letters, brothers and sisters. Really think about this for a second. Three letters you are not willing to accept that three letters which contain information can arise by chance or at random, right? Now think about this. The DNA, the human, g human genome, has 3.5 billion letters precisely sequenced in a chemical alphabet. 3.5 billion letters. Yet when it comes to the human genome, we have professors and scientists who are wanting us to believe Chance. Necessity. It just happened. Nobody is suggesting that the human genome just appeared as you describe. It built up over time through natural selection. Anybody with even a basic understanding of evolution would know that. To make this kind of suggestion, Imran is either deceptive or he is dumb. My opinion is that it's probably a combination of the two.